Hello and welcome everybody to another tutorial of Dungeon Fog. My name is Till and today I want to show you the new features that we have implemented recently, which are move rooms and the new layer mechanic. So let's start with move rooms. If I want to move a room, all I have to do is I select the room and I will now get those new drag handlers. To move a room, all I have to do is I click on the drag handler and I start dragging my room around. And there is one thing to be noted. Every drag handler has its own snap to grid. So it depends on which room point I am selecting. And this one is going to snap to the grid. So if you're working with more complex rooms where some of the room points are not on the grid, you can use every point to click on it and drag it and this point will be the one that is snapping to the grid. If you don't want to snap to the grid at all, all you have to do is press down the shift key on your keyboard and now snap to grid is deactivated and you can move your room accordingly. This is available for every room, so you can move around every room. And having those drag handlers makes it pretty easy to now adjust your rooms and snap them to the grid or drag them without snap to grid by pressing down the shift key. So the next thing I want to show you is the new approach to our layers. We have reworked that a bit to make it more intuitive and um, to show you that, I'm going to draw a room. And as you're going to see right now, I can draw my room as before. But the snap to wall or the wall detection, as we previously had it in place, is now not preventing me anymore from entering another room. We still have the uh, snap to wall in place. So you see, we're still recommending, uh, hey, here is a wall, why don't you want to snap to it? But we're not preventing you anymore from going into or out of other rooms. The reason behind that is that we are now working closer with the uh, layer system. And by shifting or changing the order of my layers, I now affect the way that rooms are rendered. In our case here, I want to draw an outhouse and I want it to be sitting here. So what I did was, I will do it again just to show you. What I did was, I, as before, I started to draw a room, but I'm now ignoring, or I could be ignoring the fact that there is a wall here and I could start to draw a room like this. And it would, our system would recognize that. And depending on how those rooms are sorted, they are now also drawn. So in our case, the unnamed room is above everything else here. As you see, we have also added a highlight system so you can easily detect which room you are currently hovering in your list. But since this room is rendered above everything else, it is also drawn above everything else. If I want to change that, I shift it beneath the room I want it to be. And there you go. Keep in mind that when you do something like that, this room still exists at its fully drawn outlines. So if I would go to my GM nodes, if I go to my GM nodes, this room is still in the way you have drawn it. So this might be confusing if you place the room here and this is your outhouse, whereas on your map, The outhouse is just this one. We can't prevent you from doing that, so we have the uh, detect wall still in place and we would uh, highly recommend to stick to your walls 
to have properly drawn rooms in your GM nodes here. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to move I'm going to move my wall points back up here. And honestly, this is a pretty weird outhouse, so I'm going to I'm going to remove some of my wall points because they're not making sense. There you go. Another thing um, I want to show you is now that the now that the rendering of each layer works better than before, you are also you also can easily change the outer and inner wall thickness, and you have a much cleaner and better result in rendering uh, different wall textures intersecting each other or meeting each other on different wall types. Right. So that's for the new update. As always, have fun testing. Let me know what you think on Discord or in our forums. And I can't wait to see you online. Bye.